Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. And in today's video, we're gonna share a story with you that we've actually only ever shared with a few people. It's about the time that we bought into and then almost immediately canceled our membership in the Disney Vacation Club. In February 2017, on our second Disney cruise, we went to the DVC like presentation on board. If you don't know what DVC is, it is the Disney Vacation Club, and the simplest term is that it's Disney's timeshare option. Uh, now, as most of you guys will know, I'm a huge researcher. So I've been looking into DVC for a number of years, <laughs> and I want to give you a confession right from the beginning. I hate timeshare companies. Correct. Like, really, <laughs> really hate them. I think that they uh, almost never are a good deal. I think they prey on people. I think that their sales tactics are just non-ethical for the most part. And so I was not excited or stoked <laughs> about DVC at all. But we had found a few things kind of unique to DVC that we felt like would make it a good fit for us. So we went to the presentation. As you guys know, obviously we love Disney vacations, right? We take multiple <laughs> ones a year. We are definite Disney fans. Um, and if you've watched our video about why we can't have kids, one of the things we talk about in that video is this idea of legacy. And so I also liked with DVC the fact that it could be possibly a legacy piece for us to uh, both gift and bless our niece and our nephews with these kind of amazing Disney Disney trips that honestly maybe they wouldn't be able to have otherwise. Yeah. So there were a few things that kind of intrigued us. So one of the benefits of us just not having kids is that our travel schedule is really pretty flexible. Yeah, in fact, like we're not tied to school schedules, right? We're not tied to the school calendar, so we can kind of travel whenever. Uh, we don't need these larger family villas. Right. Uh, it's kind of, it's just us. So we're fine with like the super small studio hotel room style mm -hmm. things. Um, and so we have a lot of flexibility in our travel. And some of the things that I had read online said that uh, for those types of people, sometimes DVC can actually work out really well for you. So I thought, you know what? Let's go hear them out. And one of the perks of actually going to the presentation on board is that they do a draw of everybody who's there for like $200 onboard credit. And guess who won? This one right and here. This one right here. That was so awesome. <laughs> so it's like, that was like a super fun thing that we got $200. They also gave us like yeah. a little pin. And then after the presentation, you know, we had talked about it a ton. We had thought about it. We kind of run some numbers. Uh, but one of my concerns, and I told Disney Vacation Club this, was that when you live in Alaska, while our stage of life allows us to be somewhat flexible, as we talked about with travel, mm -hmm. um, Alaska is a unique place because Airfare can be very expensive from here. It is just, it's like candy, it just is. <laughs> it is, <laughs> and so we have found that when we travel, in order to travel as much as we do, uh, we have to travel based on air, airfare sales, right? Right. And so it's the kind of thing that like, when a fair sale comes up, we travel <laughs> based on that. Hey, we're leaving in a month. <laughs> yeah, and so, but we did know that that's actually not really how you can do it with Disney Vacation Club, because with DVC, the rooms book up so fast mm -hmm. that you have to book like nine months in advance or whatever the date was. Right. I don't remember, it was something like that though. And so for us, I knew that was gonna be a potential issue for us. Mm -hmm. But the guy on the ship said, you know what, how about this? You're clearly interested, uh, it could fit your lifestyle. How about you, let's just buy into this, let's lock this great onboard deal <laughs> into place. And then when you get back on land where you have decent internet, cause internet on the ship, wah wah, right. um, then you can kind of look into this and you have 10 days to cancel with no penalty. Um, now, I fully know that they make that sales pitch to most people hoping that they kind of set the hook and then those people, life gets busy and they forget and then they don't cancel and then they're locked in. Not this guy, right? If you give me <laughs> so 10 days. The day we got off the oh, ship, he was like. <laughs> I was like, all right, challenge you set the bro Let's fix this out. <laughs> and so I, what I did is I took our next 12 month calendar, mm -hmm. right? I took our 12 month calendar and said, okay, realistically, let's look at airplane tickets. Let's look at our schedules. Let's pick some dates when we possibly could take advantage of our new DVC membership. And then the realization that it just won't work for us set in. Yeah, I think that he tried like 10 different dates Yep, and they were all booked. In multiple locations. In different size rooms yep. and different like everything. So we were like, okay, so maybe the studios don't work. Maybe we can do like the five room villa and invite people to come with us. Nope, nothing. And so <laughs> I could not find one single date that was available for us to take advantage of our membership. Based on semi-available flights. Yep, and so for us, it, if we can't use it, there's no point in being members, Correct. right? And here's the hard part for us. So, so ultimately what we did is we actually did cancel. Uh, canceled with them and I told them exactly why. I said, listen, I 
I love, we love the idea of DVC. Right. In fact, we've said that if we lived in a place where we could more easily take advantage of it, we would probably buy into it because the thought of being able to use our points to bring uh, our niece and our nephews and family to like the Lodge of Animal Kingdom where the giraffes walk up to your room and give them that kind of an experience and to have that experience for ourselves, right. that's amazing to us. Yeah. Um, and obviously we're not gonna stop uh, traveling with Disney anytime soon. Right. We love Disney. <laughs> and so we love the idea of supporting them. There's just a lot we love about DVC. But to be quite honest with you, for the way that we travel, it just didn't fit. Um, it just didn't fit us. We also tend to not book our travel like super far in advance. Um, I honestly think that this, la this the January cruise coming up is like the farthest advanced like and notice that we've given ourselves and that was like for a, a trip. 11 months. That was like 11 months. And so we just, we just don't travel like that like yeah. they just don't book years in advance and it, so in fact uh for to give you an example of this it even happened earlier today yeah. um one of the things we're looking at and this is probably how we'll use dvc points i'm not going to go into this in this video uh you actually can rent dvc points mm -hmm. and so we have kind of a secret trip coming up that we're not going to reveal uh but we were looking at possibly renting some dvc points <laughs> and so again it's a few months away which is kind of how we travel mm -hmm. looking to see and of course no availability for any decent price so like it's anywhere. like like we tried multiple states we tried multiple locations like just nothing yeah so <laughs> so again it was just kind of confirmation it's like you know what dvc for the way that we travel just isn't for us now we are not dvc haters nope. we actually think that for the right like family the right kind of situation it could be a really great thing yeah we know a number of people who are dvc members and who absolutely love mm -hmm. it and it works out great for them and i love that and honestly yeah. we really wish that was us yes. um <laughs> like we really wish that was us mm -hmm. however the realization is that um we just wouldn't be able to use it the way that we travel right, right? and so that's kind of a bummer uh, as you guys know we've still never stayed at a disney resort which is crazy we've been we're gold castaway club members we were we've, trying so hard to make it happen for this secret trip. we were trying so hard to make it happen <laughs> um and it's like we've been to disneyland paris and disney world and disneyland and we want to go to like tokyo and shanghai hong kong we want to cross them all off the list and we've never stayed at a disney hotel because of the price so expensive which kind of stinks <laughs> i totally know that but we will get there eventually we were hoping that dvc is what would help us get there uh, but for us it does not look like it so that is our dvc story we've actually been asked about dvc a number of times and we thought you know what it's finally time to uh share our story and our experience <laughs> with it mm -hmm. uh we have been dvc members for i think about five days mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh the numbers didn't add up and <laughs> i quickly canceled mm -hmm. but sherry we didn't you got your 200 dollars on board credit we but. did. We also got little pins. We each got, I think, Alani yep. pins. And because we signed up, we got the bag. And <laughs> it says, like, Disney Vacation Club member, and it's got Mickey on it, and it's <laughs> super cute. Like, it's a nice size bag. You guys, it was, and <laughs> it was so funny because they gave it to us on the cruise ship after we, you know, had given them the money. Um, and it's like, oh, awesome. We're, we're DVC members. This is by far the most expensive bag we've ever bought. <laughs> Just, you know um right. however then i mean free technically because we got our money back that's true but then when we got back and realized it wouldn't work and it canceled then we kind of looked at each other and i'm like what do we do with the bag <laughs> like, it's like do you want I us mean, to send the bag back and the guy was like no you can keep the bag i mean i've used it because it's a nice bag <laughs> it's a nice bag so if you ever see us with the disney vacation club member bag uh know that we were technically members we were maybe for the shortest period we should find that out what is the, who's the person who has been the DVC member for the shortest amount of time? I feel like there's probably people like on the ship who are like, just kidding. We don't want to do this. Like they had a couple too many drinks of the day. Right. Bought into Disney Vacation Club for thousands of dollars. Woke up the next morning and they were like, oh God. what did I do? And quickly canceled. <laughs> that probably has happened. Mm -hmm. So you guys, uh, we want to hear from you though. Let us know in the comments below. Are you a DVC member? Mm -hmm. Have you considered it before? Does it uh, work for you if you are? Yeah. Does it work for you if you are? We really hope that it does. Yeah. And you know what? Honestly, fingers crossed. We've talked about this before uh we do hope that someday we're in a stage of life in a location the way that we travel the way that we live that we could possibly join again yes. that would be amazing for us that would be great we would love that but for now uh we got we a pretty just, sweet bag out of it cool bag that's right see you guys as always we love you thanks for watching leg life and we'll see you guys on the next leg life video